Hey there everybody and welcome to your semi-monthly dose of me, Katerina Cosplay. Happy New Year! Hope you're doing alright. It's finally 2022. 2021 was a thing, I guess. Um, yeah, it's been a bit difficult to stay motivated to work on costumes the past few years for obvious reasons. I thought for this year I'd start off the year right and motivate myself by talking about the costumes I want to work on. So that's what I'm doing. <laughs> so I'm going to start this off with like a little warning that I'm not going to finish all of these, realistically speaking. Um, what I tend to do at the start of the year is make like a list of the characters I want to work on uh, for that year and then I loosely follow that, I prioritise what I want to work on first and then kind of work on things as I go. Um, the past few years with little to no conventions and not a lot of motivation whilst also being busy um, I've finished about five costumes a year and this list is definitely longer than five projects so keep that in mind this is kind of like loosely based I just wanted to chill and have a sit down video where I talk about costumes that I want to work on for this year to keep this uh, sort of organized I've also categorized these plans so the first category kind of speaks for itself, which is things that are almost ready. Um, I literally just need to do a couple things and I'll explain them as we go. The next one is simple projects, uh, projects that are within my comfort zone and I know I probably will be able to finish this year. Um, then there's the ongoing projects, which is a bit of an odd category and maybe they're not really cost plans for 2022, but the things that I want to work on this year. Um, these projects are kind of challenges for myself, things that uh, projects um, using skills that I don't have a lot of experience with to try and learn as I go. Um, so I will be working on them. Realistically I don't think I'll actually finish them but I wanted to talk about them because I'm really excited about them so that's why they're on the list. And then finally there's kind of the maybe pile, things that will take some time to finish and I have the simple projects I'm prioritizing over the maybe pile things right now. It would be really cool to finish these but I'm not going to punish myself or get upset if I don't. Um, they're kind of like the extras. It would be really cool to get them done but if I don't that's also cool. So that's the categories. Realistically there will be projects that are not on this list that I might work on this year. Um, you never know, new shows come out, you find something you love and you want to work on it really badly. I also have like this big box of scrap fabrics that I want to use up, so instead of buying new fabric what I'm trying to do is use that up. I did incorporate that sort of into my cost plans, um, most of them I already have materials for, but maybe I figure out a project that I can do with scrap fabric then I'd rather work on that than something I don't have materials for yet. Let's get on to the video. Starting off with the things that are almost ready. First two I'm just gonna put here are Yuki Cross and Evelyn from KDA. Now I've bought these costumes and I just need to tweak them and we'll be ready to go so these are really simple. I don't have to do a lot of work because I'm not doing any of the sewing or I'm not doing any of the construction of these costumes I just need to tweak them which is great which means they'll hopefully be done quite soon but you never know with me because sometimes I really feel like sitting behind the sewing machine and then instead of doing like the tweaking of a costume that's almost done I just start on a new project um, that isn't necessarily super helpful for myself but yeah that's just how it is sometimes and then the final character for this category is Hatsune Miku's Miko outfit which is for a module in Project Diva which I really like. Um, I finished most of this last year but I just need to finish the socks and then it's done. So those are the things that are almost ready and I'm really hyped about them. Next up is the simple projects which I sort of have deadlines for most of these. Um, starting off with Amy Rose from Sonic. Uh, I'm doing this cosplay for a group. I really want it to be done before April. We're hoping to shoot around April and May. So I think this will be really cool. I literally got the fabric in for it today, which is the only fabric I'm buying this year, I promised myself. <laughs> I'm really hyped to cosplay Amy Rose. I played a couple Sonic games as a kid, but I mostly watched the cartoon. I'm really hyped to start working on this and I might do a little cheeky work log video for it. Next up is Homura from Madoka Magica, but specifically this outfit, which is the little sailor outfit, which I think is really cute. I want to finish this for VinCon in August, um, which is like a convention at a pool. 
Um, so I've planned a lot of beach themed projects for this year because I really want to do like beach themed cosplays for that convention. The next one is also a beach themed project which is uh, Hatsune Miku's like marine outfit um, which he wears over like a swimming suit. Another really cute beachy themed thing I think will look really cute and also not be too difficult to make. And then the final like beach themed project for this year is um, Azula from Avatar, specifically like from the Fire Island episodes, like these two outfits. I don't know which one I'm going to actually work on for FinCon yet, but I think both of them would be really cool. If I could finish both, I would be very pleased, but I'm going to start with just one and then see how far I get. So the next character is Marka Alban from Soul Eater. Soul Eater is a nostalgia show for me. I loved this show when I started watching anime. It's one of the first shows I ever watched. Um, and I'm really excited to work on this project. Next up is ongoing projects. So things that I'm taking my time on because they are challenging. Starting off with Kagura from Onmyoji, specifically the Valiant Maple Skin. This costume is full of so many details and I'm honestly quite intimidated. So what I tend to do is what I've been doing, um, I've actually been working on this for two years now and what I usually end up doing is doing a little bit, taking a break, getting back to it when I feel more comfortable or learn a new skill and then going kind of back and forth with this one. Mostly because I just want to take my time and make sure I really love it. Next up is Lydia from Skyrim, which is a full armor project. I don't work with foam a lot. So uh, last year I decided I'm going to work with foam a lot more and this is my way of challenging myself to do so. So far it's going quite well. I'm learning the skills and I'm taking my time. I'm using a tutorial uh, whilst making this which has been really helpful and getting me more comfortable with foam work um, and I'm really excited to finish this. I don't know when. It might be this year, might not be this year, we never know. And then finally, Tiny Tina from Borderlands 2. So this project is both a challenge because it is, again, working with foam, but also um, working with that painted texture. I really want to incorporate that painted texture that you can see in the video game for this costume. And it's been really fun so far. I've made a couple little things and I've started on the wig. Um, but again, I'm taking my time because I don't know what I'm doing and I'm figuring it out as I go. Um, I've also struggled with the dress a lot so far. I've, uh, I've made two attempts and both have failed miserably. So it's kind of been working on it, something goes wrong, get demotivated, put it on the back burner, work on other things, pick it up again and that's kind of how that costume is going for me right now. Next up is kind of like the maybe pile, like I mentioned. I don't know if I'll finish them. It would be cool if I did, but if I don't, that's also cool. Starting off with Lux from League of Legends. I've had some experience with foam so far and I'm liking it. So I'm trying to, um, I'm more comfortable adding characters who wear armor onto like my projects lists. And I think Lux's armor is simple enough for me that with the use of a pattern, I can probably make this and I think it'll look okay. <laughs> and also I just really like this design. Lux is one of the characters I used to main when I play League of Legends actively. So it'll be like a little fun project for myself. Um, and I'm really excited about it. Next up is Vanil from Final Fantasy. I'm quite new to Final Fantasy, to be honest. I actually started playing the games last year or the year before. I started with Final Fantasy 13, so I had to pick a Final Fantasy 13 character to start cosplaying with, um, but I'm nearly done with the trilogy and then I think I want to move to Final Fantasy 10 and then 7 and then the other games. I'm really new to this franchise, um, but I like it so far, so yeah, enough to want to cosplay from it. So, Next up is Bloom from Wings Club, which is another nostalgia thing for me. I used to love Bloom watching Wings Club as a kid. Um, we'd play Wings Club on the playground and fight over who could be Bloom and I would not win because I had no charisma, I had no confidence in myself and I was a total pushover but now I get to be Bloom whenever I want which hopefully is this year but you'd never know. If I can finish this I found some fabric that I want to purchase in the future that is very beautiful and I'm really excited about it um, <laughs> but it is on the back burner. It's less of a priority than the other projects. So I guess I'll finish those first, although I'm really excited about this one. And then finally, Stocking from Panny and Stocking. Now this 
has been a cosplay that I've wanted to do for a long time because uh, Penny and Stocking was also one of the first few anime, uh, is one of the first anime I ever watched. Um, and there's extra hype for it because I have a friend group and we want to cosplay Pansy Stocking uh, and Garter Bell and Briefcase like together as a group and I think that'd be really cool. But we decided to plan this during uh, Heroes Made in Asia and then um, as I thought about it a little bit more I don't think I'll actually be able to finish it this year realistically speaking but I'm going to try really hard. So that's my cosplays for this year. Thanks for listening to me ramble. I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I am going to reiterate, I might do other projects as well. You never know, sometimes I get an idea or I upcycle old clothes and I end up making a costume that I hadn't even thought of making. Um, a lot can happen in a year, you never know. I'm not being super strict with myself when I make these plans because cosplay is just a hobby for me and I'm doing this for fun. So if a different project is more fun for me to do at the time in the future <laughs> that we're talking about hypothetically, then I'm just gonna work on it. That's just how it goes. Um, that being said, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.